Hey everyone, welcome back in the kitchen. Thanks for coming. I love that everybody is here and people are coming to watch these videos and check all this cooking out. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you have not done so yet, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel and watch all the fun stuff we've been making. Today, today is fun. Today I'm excited about, we're gonna make coconut shrimp. Uh, frankly, because I saw it in a recipe book and got excited because I haven't had coconut shrimp in a long time and want to make some. So today, that's what we're gonna do. Recently, we got, my wife got one of those, uh, uh, an air fryer, Pampered Chef air fryer, which is, I, I think it's the coolest thing. I use it all the time. And it came with a little, you know, cookbook, a little pamphlet of some recipes you can make. And I was just flipping through it and I saw the words coconut shrimp and I was like, whoa, I haven't had coconut shrimp in years. I got excited, went out and got everything I needed. And today we're gonna make some coconut shrimp. Well, mind you, disclaimer, I don't really like coconut. It's just not one of my flavors. My wife doesn't like coconut. We discovered today that our, <laughs> our daughter doesn't like coconut, but I really like cooking with coconut. You can make all kinds of fabulous entrees, some wonderful desserts. When the flavors cook, it really tastes good and it's, it's, a, it's a neat texture and it's a lot of fun. Coconut shrimp is definitely uh, a personal favorite. So we are gonna make coconut shrimp today. Very easy to do. We have some flour. This is what? A third of a cup of flour. And I threw in there salt and pepper, a half a teaspoon each of ground black pepper and some kosher salt, half a teaspoon, dumped it in the flour, kind of mixed it all in there. I've got some egg whites. Watching the videos, you know whenever I have egg, I'm using egg white as often as possible. I grabbed three egg whites, tossed them in a bowl, and then I've got my, our coconut mixture for our, 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 our exterior breadcrumbs. And what that is, I've got a third of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Nope, three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs and one cup of coconut coconut flakes. You can get sweetened, you can get unsweetened. The only thing I could find was unsweetened, so I went ahead and got them. And it really doesn't matter if you have sweet or unsweet, but you want coconut flakes. You want to stay away from the shredded, it gets too fine. I like that big flaky uh, look and uh, texture. So we've got unsweetened coconut flakes, one cup with the panko breadcrumbs. And then what I threw in there is like a twist, and it's really good. I put a half a teaspoon of sugar, because again, the coconut flakes are not sweetened, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Whew. Now coconut, like I said, I don't love to eat it by itself, but I do like the way it smells. And when you mix it with cinnamon and sugar like that, that is some really fun smells and flavors, and I like them. I like that smell. Oh, it's great. So. We're going to do our shrimp super easy, super, super easy what we're doing today. So I went and got a pound of shrimp. I'll show you. Another thing to remember, to re remember when making coconut shrimp, you want the shrimp as cold as possible before you fry them. You should always keep seafood in the fridge. but. Once you bread them, before you fry them, as close as, uh, as cold as possible. So I've already done a bunch of them, as you can see, and I kept them in the fridge because I want to keep them really, really cold. And I want you to see what I did. So I got a pound of shrimp. The bigger you get, the better. These are 1620s. They were the biggest size I could get at the store. And obviously peeled, leaving the tails on, which I truly believe is all an aesthetic feature only. I really think that when people make coconut shrimp, they leave the tails on just so the way that they sit and the way it looks on the plate, but it does look cool. So peeled, de-veined, I'm gonna slice the middle even more to really open that up and slice through all those tendons because I want them to sit flat. See how that's sitting flat? 
See like this? It's going to sit flat like that when it's cooked. That's what we want. So I've got a couple here. Like I said, I peeled them, deveined them, and I'm really slicing through those tendons to get them to open up and flatten out, just like that. Now, first thing, I'm just moving them around in the flour. Not a thick coating, just getting flour on them. I'm going to go directly over to the egg and whisk it around in the egg a little bit. And then put it in the breadcrumbs. Get breadcrumbs all over the top. And I'm going to open up that slit that we made in the bottom and get breadcrumbs down in there. Just going to kind of pack them in on the top and then uh, just kind of shake it off. See? So they're inside and on the front. Then they just sit them down flat. Flour. Move it around. You don't need a lot. So move it around in the flour and then tap it on the side because I don't want any clumps, any excess pieces. Move it around in the egg. Again, you don't need a lot. Egg, egg white, sticky stuff. And then get the coconut all over the top. Turn it over. Open up that slice in the bottom and get coconut and breadcrumb in there. When you flip it back over, it's obviously going to fall out, which is fine because you don't going to kill them. We're just going to get them good and coated. And that's it. That's what they look like when they're done and coated. They're flat. It's covered all around. Obviously not on the tail because that's just going to sit up. Good and cold. We are going to get some oil on the stove, some vegetable oil, really, really hot. And fry those puppies up. Evenly coated with the breadcrumbs and the coconut all over. They sit up so pretty, all flaky. Once they're done, gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so we go ahead, get a nice size pan, and dumped a bunch of vegetable oil in there. Didn't even measure it. Just poured a bunch in and turned it on. Didn't put it on high, but I have it way up there because most important thing when you're frying something like this, like I said, you want to keep the shrimp really, really cold. So even if after you put them in the coconut breadcrumb mixture and got them all finished, if you wanted to go ahead and put those in the freezer for 30 or 40 minutes, that's great. The colder, the better. And the reason why, it allows the shrimp to cook all the way through and prevents the coconut breadcrumb mixture from burning and overcooking. At the same time, the colder they are, the less chances there are of a lot of coconut flakes and stuff falling off because we don't want that to happen. On the flip side of that coin, hot oil. You don't want to take all those nicely breaded shrimp and put them in oil that's not hot because everything will just fall off and get mushy and be really, really yucky. We don't want that to happen. So I've turned the oil on. The easiest way to see if it's hot enough is to drop a couple pieces in and oh yeah, see, you see some sizzle start, you can hear it and then everything starts to crackle. As soon as that happens, you know you've got good hot oil. I turned it down just a little bit because I don't want it to burn, because that can happen. If you have a thermometer and it reads over 325, turn your oil down. You don't want it to burn. We don't need this to cook fast. We need it to cook correctly. I'm dropping one in at a time. I'm not just going to dump them all in because it'll go everywhere and make a mess. They'll clump together. They won't cook right. We'll let those get going. It is taken off. This is only going to take a few minutes. Three to five at the most and they will be done and they will be gorgeous. Ooh, it already has a kind of a sweet smell to it. It's beautiful. I love it.
see the color we're getting? Look. Oh, they're beautiful. They are going to be ready any moment. You hear it? And they are done. Look at that. Exactly four and a half minutes. And the most important thing you can do when you take these puppies out is remember, number one, they're going to be really, really hot. And number two, they're going to be greasy. So put them down on a plate with paper towel and let it soak up the excess grease because we don't need it. We don't want it. How easy was that? Wow. Look how gorgeous they are. Let's let them sit for a moment and plate them up. Woo! How cool, easy, and awesome was that, huh? I love making these. It is so easy to do. Did you get a feel for how fast that was? Did you see all my running around? No? A lot of running around. Very easy to make coconut shrimp. Very fast to make coconut shrimp. We've made another shrimp video before. I said it then, I'm gonna say it again today. When you cook shrimp, you can't move. It does not take long. It is a very, very fast process. So once you put them in the oil, stick with it, don't go away. Three, five minutes at the most is all it takes. And they come out like this, a beautiful golden brown color. Let them sit for a few minutes. They're gonna stay hot for a long time, I promise you. Let them sit for a few minutes on paper towels mostly for the aesthetic piece, the plating piece. There is a trillion and one ways you can plate this up, depending on if you're serving it with anything, what you're serving it with. Off the top of my head, I'm gonna once again go with rice because they just seem to go well together. Coconut shrimp is also a fantastic appetizer or an hors d'oeuvre to serve people. By itself, is, it, it doesn't need anything to accompany it. The flavor is fantastic just like this, and they look gorgeous just like this. So here's what we're doing today. I got a white plate. I'm going to put them on this plate in such a fashion that you might wonder, why is he doing that design? Because I get a kick out of designs. I get a kick out of moving things around And making it kind of interesting. But you see how pretty they came out? Oh, I love it when it's like that. Boom. Keep the plate at an angle. So that would be served as an appetizer just by itself. Now what I want to throw on there today, because it's so good, this is a honey sriracha glaze. And it is that simple. It is a three to one ratio of honey and sriracha. Chai chili, uh, uh, Thai chili paste, chai chili, Thai chili paste, sriracha, whatever you want to use. I have three tablespoons of honey to one tablespoon of sriracha. And that's it, that's all I did, but you, you gotta whisk it really, really hard. If you want it spicier, put more sriracha, obviously. The one, the three to one ratio of the honey to sriracha, I think is a really, really nice flavor. It's, it's, it's still got some kick at the end, some bite to it, but it's not heavy. And you don't need a lot of this for the flavor and you don't need a lot of it for the plate. But again, if you just drizzle, you just drizzle it across, just gives it a couple of clumps like that. That design speaks volumes. Oh, I love coconut shrimp. And the last thing 
The last thing I want to do, because I just want to add one more thing. I want just a, believe it or not, just a tad bit more color. And just because it's fun, I'm going to throw some lemon zest on top. <laughs> I don't know why. I like the colors. So I've got a, a little zester, a little grater here. Take a lemon, and I'm just going to rub it across the top just to get some flakes. A little color. It's got a nice, light, fragrant smell to it because it's fresh lemon. And just a couple of, a little bit of zest. Voila. You see the color? See the dots from the sriracha? Now, admittedly, you don't see much yellow in there. It's more about the fragrance and the little specks that make the plate so pretty when it comes out like that. And that's it. I don't think anything else needs to be done. Or said those are some beautiful shrimp I hope you try this I know I say that every week but I do I hope you try this stuff because it's fun to do it's fun to make it's fun to think of and create and I hope you come up with your own variations of them and when you do send me a comment let me know how it goes throw a comment below too easy too hard too fast added this took out that I love all that stuff again Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell. Get your notifications turned on so you know when the videos show up. Wednesdays and Sundays, that's what we're after at the moment. But you never know. So make sure you turn on your notifications. Give the video a thumbs up, please, and thank you so very much. Share it with all your friends. Look forward to seeing you in a few days. Enjoy those shrimp. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.